Lolly ho everyone, Dipper's back with another reaction video with the Act Man this time, and it's about Helldivers! Why is Helldivers 2 a masterpiece? If you haven't played Helldivers yet, it is a game that you can play with your friends or strangers, whoever, I don't care, fighting bugs and robots for democracy! ETA one minute. Oh, sh Are you serious right now? Come on, we can do it! We can do it! <laughs> oh my god! Ah, not fair! Ah! <laughs> but just curious, Ackman, why is Helldivers 2 such a masterpiece? Helldivers 2 might be the only game where you can say, wow, wow. there's a lot of bots and bugs in this. Yeah. And it's a compliment. Democracy. <laughs> why did you do that? No. That's no. Who, who needs her democracy liberated? OMG me. <laughs> Shoot him as soon as you land. <laughs> I think it has a real chance to win Game of the Year in 2024. I don't know about you, but I'm really enjoying this trend of indie developers releasing games with little marketing that manage to topple their AAA competitors. It's great. Ones that keep puking out the same garbage we're tired of. I could get used to this. It's refreshing. <laughs> like my morning cup of liberty. Hell oh, yeah! Two has skyrocketed in popularity. It became the most played title on Steam and PS5. One of the top selling games on both platforms. Yeah. And in a rare twist of fate, the player. You don't feel like investing too many hours in a game and you just want to do a quick round for one night before bed? Go into Helldivers. Base has remained consistent, even a month after launch. Games like this deserve their success and much more because the developers at Arrowhead have clearly worked their asses off. Mm -hmm. Just look at the difference between Helldivers 2 and the original. Might be the wow. biggest leap a sequel ever made. Did you know Helldivers 2 was in development for so long that the engine they used to make it was discontinued? Meaning Arrowhead had had to improve and modify the engine while working on the game? That's now, believable. Now, I don't know much about all this game development, but even I know that shit ain't easy. So what nah. the hell? is so special about Helldivers 2. Why is it thriving while recent AAA releases are struggling? Has it uncovered some secret to make live service games not so boring and formulaic? And most importantly... <laughs> because there's friendly fire! <laughs> Have any of you guys tried the rover? Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Come on, dog, let's go! <laughs> oh, good dog. Ow! <laughs> Bad dog! <laughs> Is Helldivers 2 worthy of being called a masterpiece? Well, let's praise democracy, brew a cup of liberty, and hmm. get set for a combat drop. Together, we must take back control of freedom. Take back we control. Are so bad. We are, dude, we are so bad. Dude, we are back, bro, baby. Bro, dab I'm me up. I'm excited. Dab me up right I don't now. think... We are with you, so This will be my first time actually watching someone else play Help Divers. It's always just been me and my pals. <laughs> For freedom. To the death. My leg. My leg. Grenade. Grenade. <laughs> <Bullet Super. laughs> I'm calling an eagle strike. Run, run, run. Why are you calling this on me? Blow it up. Oh my god. <gasps> there is no fucking way. This is, there is no fucking way this is going to be possible. What is this talk? There's not enough liberty in your system. Go out there, soldier, and die for democracy. Okay, I'm going to There's go no, to the, I can't do this. I'm go to the escape pod data. Oh, wow, that you are not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god! Oh my god! Why did you get the attention? Yo, it is chaotic as hell. This one's for democracy! It's coming! <laughs> There's three of them! There's three you of them! You can take it! <laughs> yes! Woo! Nice. Yes! This is it, baby. Oh. Hell yeah. It's a moment to bond over. What's that? What would you get if you took Starship Troopers, Terminator, Halo, Left 4 Dead, and threw them <laughs> all in a blender? You would get every wet dream I've ever had. <laughs> Check it out. Watch how it shoots. I think it, that looks really cool. Oh my God. 
It, dude, it just hit the fucking... No way that just happened. But oh. I'm biased because guys in space shooting aliens is a concept I have simped for my entire life. In Helldivers 2, you don't have the traditional kind of video game storytelling. It's more community-based, and I'll explain it what is. that means later on. The game takes place in a sort of utopia where humanity has formed a one-world government called... <laughs> the best intro ever to a video game! We have to defend Super Earth! Super Earth! <laughs> Life here is perfect. But freedom doesn't come free. <gasps> Liberty. No! <laughs> <laughs> Look familiar? That's right. That's Our awesome. glorious super earth is under attack. Our democracy and freedom is being threatened. Why did this war start? I'll tell you why. Because our enemies hate freedom. The fascism <laughs> aspect, the whole for democracy, sweet liberty. That's all just window dressing, you know? It's flavor. It's no different than terrorists versus counter-terrorists, Nazis versus everyone else. The absurd levels of patriotism, not absurd, the reasonable levels of mm, patriotism mm. opens the door for some of the funniest dialogue you've ever heard. Say hello to democracy! <laughs> to democracy! Life for super earth! <laughs> Stop it! Sweet liberty! Blood. <laughs> Obviously, there is a vibe of extreme nationalism, militarism, and patriotism. And the best part, I'm brainwashed into all of it. Hoorah! Part of the beauty of Helldivers 2 is that it has no deep, thought-provoking story. It's not really trying to, to make a statement. It's obviously inspired by Starship Troopers, but, you Suggest know, watching. story is basically like, Hey, do you like freedom? Yeah! Sweet, let's go kill bugs! The only <laughs> good bug is a dead bug. That's One of the side simple. objectives you can get is to terminate illegal broadcasts, which are spreading the idea that the war against the Terminids is all because of oil. I've checked with the Ministry of Truth on this, and they have confirmed to me that this is treason, and it's not true. Brood free back home. Yo, it's <laughs> leading all the flavor polls. Can you believe that? Oh, shit. Of course I believe that, because to not believe it would be treason. <laughs> the Ministry of Truth said so. Yeah. They wouldn't lie. Yeah, they would never lie. But Helldivers is so silly and over the top that it's more fun to play along. Especially when you have game trailers that are like this. The socialist automatons terrorize innocent families. <laughs> Babes are torn from their mothers. Voters. <laughs> From their I haven't the seen this shop, yet. Only reviews approved by the Ministry of Truth are allowed. <laughs> Review under investigation for treason. treason. <laughs> Sometimes when the UI loads, it says, please wait democratically. <laughs> this is super unique because these are parts of a game that, you know, aren't ever stylized in any sort of way. And yet they take this concept and they just, they plaster it all over the game. And the details in this game is amazing it's like there's no boring moment honestly like even when you're waiting on your ship you can like watch to see if other players have succeeded in being a winner or a democratic loser and then their ship blows up and you're like they didn't have enough patronism in their blood <laughs> to win for democracy every way they can you also get to name your ship by choosing from some preset words Mine, of course, was the Fist of Patriotism. <laughs> you could also choose something like Wings of Liberty, Patriot of Patriotism, <laughs> Founding Father of Family Values. <laughs> Games like Power World, Deep Rock Galactic, and now Helldivers have this uncanny ability to tap into meme culture and create memes and capitalize on all of that without being cringe. Memes don't die. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Put her there. Put her there. <laughs> Already, the fans are making their own propaganda posters, like, take back the creek, stamp out the bot. It truly feels one of a kind. Dumb, check, uh... Yeah, check. Check Act Boys. So Helldivers 2 is a third-person co-op shooter where you and three buddies bring liberty and freedom to an army of killer robots and a race of giant bugs. And by liberty and freedom, I mean explosives and bullets. That should right there. Bombs away! 
Got him. Hell okay, yeah. Got him with that shit. Helldivers does a great job of combining familiar tropes into something that overall feels fresh. Bugs and propaganda from Starship Troopers. Mm. Automatons and robots from Terminator. Mm, Armor mm. that kind of looks like Spartans from Halo. Helldivers equals hell jumpers. Even the dropships are called pelicans. But unlike Power World, nobody has brought up the word plagiarism because these designs are unique and they are fucking sick. But much like how shooting zombies in Left 4 Dead 2 never gets old, neither has blasting bugs and clankers. One, because the gameplay mechanics are more solid than Snake. And two, an important phrase, visual feedback. When you shoot a bug, it doesn't just fall over and die. No, it gets eviscerated. Their limbs are torn off. They might start limping, puking up blood. You they can bleed strip out. off the armor of a charger, for example, and I see hate the green those goo beneath. I've it's always visceral and satisfying by like them. no other game I've played. The amount of ways you can inflict <laughs> damage on the bots and bugs is crazy. Yeah. It's so dynamic. It's like a technical marvel. Oh, that is danger close. You have so many weapons and stratagems oh to choose my from. God. When you shoot automatons, <laughs> chunks of metal go flying everywhere. You can shoot off their arms, it's destroy the weapons. Visually on their back. pleasing. Almost every single firearm and sandbox tool feels powerful and satisfying to use in its own way. And you got this sick dive move, which makes avoiding enemies and explosions look so dramatic. There's yeah, some I love the diving. Like... <laughs> wow, this is like playing through a movie. And that's what Helldivers is like. Except you are the action star, and these scenes aren't scripted. Woo! Yeah, the each game. And attention to detail. That's what's fun. It's like it's repetitive, but for some reason, every time you jump in, it just feels unique all on their own. Basically, after every gameplay, there's just something to laugh about over with your pals. Is what makes every moment of combat so damn cinematic. Ooh. Ah, pressure! <laughs> oh, good like dive. The fun comes from the enemies you shoot at and what you shoot them with. There is a huge variety of enemy types in Helldivers Titan. 2. And each enemy type has weak points, which force players to use and swap between different tactics on the fly. Yeah. Certain enemies like the Charger look like they can only be damaged Bang from its the back, ass. But if you get a powerful I enough mean, like, weapon, shoot you can strip ass. the armor off their you legs know, and cripple good. them. There's yeah. always more than one way to get the job done. I mean, you got things like drop ships, bug holes, giant laser cannons, tanks, bile titans, these abominations. Hate them. Orbital oh strike. Oh. Huge robotic hulks with flamethrowers. And the visuals are so important because, you know, in a game like Destiny, they would have a bunch of numbers on the screen when you shoot something. And Helldivers doesn't need that. You can see how much damage you've done to something just by looking at it. On higher difficulties, they increase the number of enemies instead of just yeah. boosting their HP and damage. And I think that's the right way to increase the challenge. It's the why the chaos. difficulty and balance in this game feel so amazing. And since there's no PVP and there never will be, the developers can go hog wild and create a bunch of overpowered bullshit that you can throw at the enemies of democracy. <laughs> there's rarely a dull moment in Helldivers. It's a nonstop rush of adrenaline and unscripted cinematic chaos. And after yeah. 50 hours, it hasn't gotten stale one bit. Mm -mm. Helldivers biggest strength comes in its variety in every aspect so of its game So many design, weapons. Especially the sandbox. The people of Super Earth clearly pay their goddamn taxes and apparently it all goes to the military because we are well equipped lads you have these <laughs> things called stratagems which are essentially kill streaks you pick and spawn in with get in the shield boys the shield is here oh my god you landed on the shield and destroyed it <gasps> you no Anytime requires a button combo, <laughs> the numbers on your credit card, and the three Did digits on the back fingers. in order to call them in. Picking the right stratagem at the right time. I'm getting hyped just success. watching this. I want to play now. Ship while out running a horde and, and trying not to kill your teammates, well, it's it's just awesome. Oh shit! Hold on. Go 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 go! <laughs> it's not dead. <laughs> oh, that, I That's so unfortunate. Again. No, lasers, I hate it. Carpet bombs, napalm strikes, mini nukes. You can have guard dogs that watch your back. 
I spawned right where there was a cut, like a huddle of enemies. So it's same thing. As soon as I got out, they just trampled over me. I was dead in less than a second. Are you kidding me? <laughs> with laser beams, jetpacks that let you quickly escape, sentry turrets to watch your six, mortars, shield generators gas bombs the geneva convention is no more i mean there is a meta which becomes more prevalent on higher difficulties because you need something big to take out the bile titans yeah. but even on suicide mission me and the boys can bring in whatever the fuck we want and still come out okay yeah. helldivers 2 doesn't pigeonhole you into one specific optimized play style and that's what i love about it part of the reason you can either brute force your way around or you can go stealth it's whatever just get the mission done for democracy. The reason the game is so replayable is that it's a lot of fun to mix and match primaries, secondaries, grenades, backpacks, and, and synergize your strategy with your teammates. Mm -hmm. Eldivers rewards good teamwork and strategy. Yeah. Not to mention that I have played a lot of shooters in my time, and I've never played something that felt like Helldivers. I, the only games I have played that were shooter games was Dead Space and The Last of Us. But this, this is basically my first shooter game that I am actually pumped and hyped to play almost every night. Like I am resisting sometimes. <laughs> Speaking of wanting to play, please check out my stream later tonight if you happen to watch this video today. Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, please. It's gonna be my first Hell Divers stream, and I want you to be there to witness democracy. When it comes to the aiming, when it comes to the actual shooting mechanics, and you can't just like max out your sensitivity in order to zip around and like instantly do a 180 to shoot something behind you. It takes time to line up the shot and you have to know when to crouch to improve accuracy and recoil, when to reload so you don't waste ammo, pacing your shots. There's so many little mechanics you can yeah. master to really flourish in this game. And it makes the shooting feel awesome. Helldiver's core combat is complemented perfectly by its level design, which emphasizes risk versus reward. Yeah. Ascension WoW is a standalone World of no! Warcraft private server that re Sure, you can do the main missions and just exfil out of there, but a real patriot completes all the optional missions, clearing out every outpost and bug nest to maximize XP and rec slip gains. Samples are also an important resource to upgrade your ship permanently, but they drop on death. Let's say your team is starting the evac and you just died and dropped all your samples. You've got two minutes. Do you stay with your team and help them defend or risk it for the biscuit and make a beeline for your samples? Yeah. All this for a couple of samples? You're Come on. Crazy. <laughs> Sir, Do democracy. it. Risk at it. times you have to decide. <laughs> do you split your team up to tackle multiple objectives at the same time or stay together as a single unit? Throughout each mission, players it are never constantly feels boring. making decisions like these based on the risk mm -hmm. and the reward. As a team, you have to decide when to do the optional objectives and when it just ain't worth it, man. On top of this, there's a time limit and a limited number of lives. If the clock hits zero, you can't call in reinforcements, no respawns, You're and you done. can't use stratagems. You fail. So when choosing where to spawn on the map, you want to plan the most efficient path to complete everything. And when you do, when you maximize the rewards and see that fat XP gain, that five-star mission completion, yeah. Yeah, it's better than sex, for it's sure. <laughs> That's like the, one of the best missions I think I've ever done. And it caps off the whole the whole thing. <laughs> Outstanding patriotism. Look at those samples, man. Uh, Five stars beautiful. only. And like I said, teamwork is important. Hell yeah, with I love really doing that to Titans. And carpet bombs and shit. And friendly fire is on. Run! Just go, just go, just go, just go. Ooh, Watch right out for the door! Get in! No, stay behind and revive him! You kill me? Recruit him! <laughs> you could have let him get in the ship! How did you kill him? Why? And while it's very hard to resist griefing your friends, when shit hits the fan, sloppy teamwork will be the death of you and all the democracy you're fighting for. And the friendly fire has been off the chain this sesh. I know. Oh, look out. Oh, my God. Oh, that was cool. close. <laughs> Holy shit. Speaking of. Jesus. I lost my kill count. <laughs> I, I had the opportunity to. That's what? kind of how they balanced all these overpowered stratagems with friendly. Dude, I think that's the best.
uh, one of my pals was just like hanging on in like in a very, very small little tower and I crash landed right on them now without knowing. Pancakes and everything. <laughs> Fire, you can't just carelessly chuck out a nuke whenever you like. I do. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, he just knocked <laughs> a fucking yeah, thing he needs out to go down. of my hands. You need to win again. I'm, oh, I'm what the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, dead. my God. I'm dead again. Oh. Dead again instantly. In a real war, you got to watch out for your brothers and yourself because even the dropships can kill you. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh my, you've got to be shitting me. You he have actually got to be shitting me. That's on you, man. It had no way he was standing. He didn't oh watch my kill God. you. Shut up. You can also <laughs> kill enemies and teammates with your own drop pod. I love Why didn't it. Why did Halo ever think of this? Another cool mechanic is reloading. Some weapons require ammo backpacks, and it's slower to reload if you carry it, but it becomes almost instant if your teammate does, allowing you to launch shell after shell downrange. This Ooh. emphasis on risk and reward teamwork and synergy makes Helldivers 2 one of the most enjoyable and satisfying games to play with your friends. Hell yeah. So I'd say the core gameplay is basically perfect. I really don't have many complaints. Except those escort missions against automatons. That was hell. <laughs> but a game like Helldivers might completely fall apart if the objectives are boring. Thankfully, there's as much variety in the mission design as there is in the sandbox and enemy types. The objectives are much more involved and creative than you would expect. You have to do things like manage the terminal, enter proper combinations, and do all these things while fighting off waves of enemies. Often There's you have basically... to make yourself vulnerable to- There is like no dull moment in this game, and that's what keeps you like in the game. Like your attention cannot be pulled away. <laughs> Something's always gonna objective. happen. On the galactic map, you get to choose where you land, what types of missions you do, what time of day, and you <clears> see what modifiers might make the run easier or more challenging. Because you have a choice, you never feel like you're doing the exact same thing every time. Yeah. And you know precisely what you're getting into. Many other multiplayer games get repetitive and dull in a fraction of the time I've played Helldivers for. Wow. On bug planets, sometimes you run into these big ass stalkers. These guys are no joke. I don't they are like them. They they can chase you down and kill you fast. But if you take out their nest, they won't spawn for the rest of the round. There's artillery stations you can find, and if you load them up with five shells, bam, you now have five extra artillery stratagems for the rest of the mission. Woo! So the game rewards you with XP and progression, of course, but also in making the mission easier. That's There's just so much design. satisfaction. There's also plenty points of effort. interest, and you can find premium currency and war bonds out in the world just by exploring. What I like too is that it encourages you to work together too, because that door has two buttons, and you need a partner to press the other button too. I think I might be wrong. No, I think so. You may be encouraged to complete everything and try to do that every round, but ultimately, it's your choice when to call it quits. And those are two words I love: player choice. Did I yeah. mention the planets in Helldivers 2 are procedurally generated? Yeah, I know. It doesn't even feel like that when you're playing. Making procedurally generated content feel handmade is one of the hardest things I can imagine for a game developer. But the result is an endlessly replayable experience. Every planet is stunning and gorgeous in its own way. Now I got a nice rig, a 4090 graphics card, and I tell you, this is one of the best looking games I've ever played. Pretty. Each planet hosts a different biome, and once again, variety is the spice of life here. You have Space Vietnam <laughs> in <laughs> Malevolon Creek, snowy planets, lava planets, jungles, rocky mountains. Yo, yo, what is this? Make snowball? Yo. I haven't what? been to a winter Anyone? place yet. How do I, how do I make a <gasps> snowball? I don't know. There was just a button prompt for it over here. There's so many what? things I haven't Some done yet. Some places are engulfed in a bright orange light that obscures vision. It's not in just there. giant bugs you have to overcome and contend with, but the environment itself. Darkness and fog can really put you on edge because sometimes you don't see the enemy until they're right in your face. Yep. Go Crossing a river might not seem too challenging, but when there's no cover, you move slower and you throw a shit ton of robots on the other side. Crossing <laughs> that river becomes a massive hurdle. Snowy planets can make you move slower and reduce the fire rate of your guns. So many little details. Oh my God. Oh, oh God. Oh, you're dead. Oh, oh you're alive. And here's the thing. All these factors, weapons, stratagems, planets, modifiers, mission objectives, optional missions, points of interest, 
all of these things make each mission feel unique from the last. Yes. Even when you're doing it on the same planet, in the same biome, I genuinely cannot compliment this game enough. So whenever new planets are unlocked, I'm excited to get on and see what else the game can throw at me. Oh, what, uh, freedom world. Peak? <laughs> Li Liberty Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> also, whenever you dive onto a planet, you're treated with a spectacular backdrop, which seems to change depending on what part of the planet you dive on. Mm -hmm. Now, this might not be true, but it's my da -da -da -da. head cannon that but when you travel somewhere and you see all these other ships, I like to think those are other players' ships. I if thought you they were. Down, you can even see stratagems being called in. I mean, it's it feels like a real war, man. Huh. I've been told that these are actually players, and if they fail their mission, their ship actually blows up. Can someone, can someone in the comments below <laughs> confirm if what I just said is true or not? Because now I feel fooled. <laughs> There's even a bit of Battlefield's levolution in destructible environments. I mean, this game has everything. Oh God, he just blew that. Yeah, house. no Holy defense shit. anymore. To make matters Run. even better, Helldivers 2 is a $60 game being sold for 40. You get more content and enjoyment out of this than a lot of other AAA releases. And like Baldur's Gate 3 and like Pal World, there's no catch, no scummy business practices. Arrowhead just wanted to make a fun video game. And, and they it did it. Everything the CEO has been saying online is so based. He was straight up telling people to wait and buy the game until the servers were fixed. Have you ever seen a CEO be like, yeah, it's okay if you don't buy our product right now. No, no, you don't hear that. So Health Divers <laughs> doesn't have a battle pass, but it does have a freedom pass, which is way cooler. And like Halo Infinite, these seasonal and event passes will never expire. That's right, no FOMO, grind at your own pace. What a concept. And to get the premium, you need That's a thousand nice. super credits. Now this is where companies like Activision would do something like charge you $10 for 800 super credits or $15 for 1300 credits. They would pull some scummy little tactic with the in-game currency I've heard to get about you that. to buy more than you actually need. It was Not really here. bad. You just spend 10 bucks, you got it. Some armor sets in this are straight up like $2 or less. Meanwhile, at Activision Blizzard, buy a different portal color, $30. Jeez. At a time where many gamers are fed the up other with how greedy big need corporations to know. are, they I'm need happy to, learn. to say that the developers of Helldivers 2 respect your time and your wallet. Hell yeah. They earned that money. They also wanted to make sure they avoided any pay to win comparisons or mechanics. What you get in the premium pass is arguably worse than the free one. And unlike other games where you can pay to skip tiers, you can't. You can only progress the freedom pass by playing the game. The only issue is that the grind is ridiculously slow. I put more than 40 hours into the game and I'm nowhere near unlocking everything. There's more lore than there is story. But what's the purpose behind this war? Yeah, if you take a look around, somehow if you have the freedom of time while hell diving in the world, <laughs> definitely check out some of the um, hidden lore on the planets because you sooner because soon you'll find out that the bugs you are uh trying to kill <laughs> they're just farmers <laughs> that's not sympathy talk that's not sympathy there's no empathy don't kill me i fight for democracy liberation quite possibly one of my favorite features in all of video games is in hell divers 2 galactic conquest 2.0 as i like to call it there is a war going on in real time Every day, the forces of evil push against us. They seek to conquer our outlying planets, kill our civilians, murder our families. Helldivers 2 has a sort of dungeon master behind the scenes, controlling what planets are open, what planets get attacked. Somewhat recently, the order was for players to fight the automatons in these defense missions, but now the Terminids are moving in and we got to push them back. So it's like this ebb and flow. And yeah, every time right you now and your we team have to fight the bugs. victory in a series of missions, you liberate a very small percentage of the planet. Liberate enough planets and players will push deeper into enemy territory. If the community fails too much or doesn't divert enough manpower, those planets may be lost and, and the enemy pushes deeper into our territory. Who's the genius behind this idea? I want to give him a medal. I imagine it's very hard to balance <laughs> something like this, especially with the massive unexpected player count they had but they seem to be doing a good job of it. The only complaint I have right now is the friends request to join. That's always been kind of iffy. Like I try to join my squad 
and they can only do it through Steam alone. But in game, it won't let me do it. It won't let me join my friend's private party. And we are friends. So there's still some hiccups and I hope they clean it up soon. Especially with the massive unexpected player count they had, but they seem to be doing a good job of it. And as long as I feel like I'm doing my part, I'm happy. Yeah. And this is why Helldivers 2 has the greatest blueprint for a live service I've ever seen. Any event, seasonal change, new enemy faction can be introduced to the players and community like a breaking news report in the ongoing war. And they can take what is just like regular content and advertise it in game as if it's propaganda. Our scientists have been hard at work creating mechs and they're finally ready for the battlefront. And this is genius, you know, instead of making a live service that's just an endless list of menial tasks and chores to complete or an artificially inflated grind to maximize the fear of missing out, the live service here is entirely based on the community's efforts. And I think that's a big reason why the game is sustaining such a large player base and why it will in the future. This is why there's been a somewhat of a ceasefire around this game between, you know, PlayStation and Xbox fanboys, because we need all the men we can get. We have the ships. We have the weapons. We need soldiers. In conclusion, Helldivers 2 is one of the best co-op games I've ever played. It's some of the most fun I've had with my buddies and I can't stop playing it. Considering I still play Left 4 Dead Agreed. 2 and Vermintide 2 semi-regularly, Helldivers 2 is going to be one of those games. One of those, oh, it's been five, ten years, let's go play Helldivers 2. And, Hell and we yeah. go back to it as if no time has passed. For their first attempt at a shooter game, Arrowhead have hit a grand slam and their pro-consumer attitude gives them all the goodwill in the galaxy. It's very replayable. I think Helldivers replayable. 2 is going to become a landmark title in the four-player co-op genre, a game so good that studios in the future will look back on it to try and replicate yeah. what it does so well. Helldivers 2 is everything I've ever wanted from a co-op PvE game. I'm going to stick around and watch every update from now until support is dropped. And that is why Helldivers 2 is a masterpiece. Well, what do you think of well Helldivers 2? Have you been enjoying it as much as me? What's your favorite part about the game? Let Hell me know your yeah. thoughts and opinions in the comments below. The rover! Like the video if you enjoyed it. I got myself and subscribe a little to the dog for helper. more awesome content. <laughs> all right, everyone. That's all I got for today. This is the Act Man signing out. Woo! Peace. Good job, man. Disgraceful conduct. <laughs>